Kyle, how you feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> It's currently 7.20 and or welcome back to this vlog. And this is actually not the first vlog that I've ever made. Uh, this is the first vlog I've ever made in my YouTube channel, my own personal YouTube channel. I know for a lot of you guys who did follow me on social media over the summer last year, I did all kinds of vlogs on my, my actual job, my, my job as social media coordinator for SCSU. But now I kind of was like, why not make one? Why not make a vlog on my regular YouTube channel? I decided to do it today because right now I'm in Brookings, South Dakota. Currently in my apartment right now, as you guys can see. And we're gonna be going to Rapid City, South Dakota, all the way across the state to go kind of explore and see uh, the area. And the beauty about this is that we're actually not gonna be driving there. We're gonna be flying in a 172. And I'm excited to do this because it's gonna be a great opportunity to show you guys. Uh, although I don't plan on really filming much in the airplane since I will be um, the one flying it. I really don't like uh, compromising safety over anything. So I'll just get a few shots here and there, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. Hoping to be a really fun trip. So without further ado, let's go. So right now we're gonna do the pre-flight portion of uh, flight. So currently right now I'm in Watertown, South Dakota, and then we're gonna head over all the way to Rapid City. Weather seems to be just fine. It seems great. We're, we're looking at a fairly, fairly well, fairly good flight. But yeah, without further let's do this. <laughs> Let's go fly. explore the town of Rapid City and surrounding areas I suppose yeah oh yeah if it should be a fun time and whatnot we'll figure it out this is awesome welcome to Rapid City all right Kyle where are we going take a Larry a Larry oh going left here all right guys so we're in Rapid City didn't really get much footage of the flight in itself just because I was mainly focusing on the flight safety safety reasons but we're here and Kyle and I are gonna get some food and whatnot. No, it's called Kipasai. Kipasai? Yeah. All right. I guess it's not open. So we're trying to figure out a different plan. All right brother what are we looking at? Well oh, we could go to the firehouse. We're gonna go to where? It's called the firehouse. The firehouse? Okay. All right I guess uh found that. The house? They open? Oh, I guess they say they're open. Let's go in there and see. They don't look open. Oh, dude, I just realized that it's Easter. Yeah, it's Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter, people. Man, this is a full-on adventure. It's still fun, though. I'm having a good time. All right, so the first three places that we've tried have been closed, but we're going to try a different one. A bistro? Yeah, bistro. That's what it says. Yeah. All right, let's see it. Kyle, you happy to star in this vlog? This, oh, yeah. is the, this is the picture of the perfect Army ROTC cadet. If you think Army ROTC... That guy. All right, so Kyle decided to pick this beautiful establishment. Yeah, nice Indian restaurant. I guess so. Let's see this. Cat Man Dean Bistro. Menu looks good though. All right, we just got our food. I don't know what this is, but. Kyle, what do you think? Pretty good. Right? I forgot what this was. A samo samo samosa? It's not a mimosa. It's not a good one. Right, try this out. That's pretty good. All right, took the tackle the curry. That's gone. You got yours too, Kyle. 
Yeah. Holy cats. Got it, man. Still got a little bit left. How is it spicy? Not really. Not really? No, it's pretty good. Oof. Mine is plenty spicy, but it was amazing. It was good food. All right, so stuffed and filled with food. So there's there's the place that we were gonna go to. It's closed. It's closed. Elks Theater, the cheap theater. Yeah. Best popcorn, better than the ones at Skinner's. Yeah. Oh, Out see. of everybody I know, you would be the one that would start vlogging. I've been doing this for a while though. I know. <laughs> okay, so where are we going? We're going, where are we going now? Sylvan Lake. Sylvan Lake. Let's go. So we're here at Sylvan Lake. So weirdly enough, we're at a higher altitude and um, it's not that cold. As you can see, I'm wearing my shirt and Kyle's wearing, you know, his shorts. But we're at Sylvan Lake right now and honestly, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Lake's iced over and um, this is weird because it's like summer weather, but the snow is like still thick. Look at that. So it came to a problem. I have to install an app on my phone to fly my drone. There's no cell reception here. So we're gonna try to find somewhere else here. There's cell reception. Walking all the way back, unfortunately. This is my stupid, stupid self. All right, could not find cell reception. Um, so we're just gonna I ditch the backpack, ditch the drone. We're gonna try to get some more B-roll footage later, but I mean, this is enough. Like, holy cow, look at this. It's freaking beautiful. It's nice. Oh, look at that. I don't know. Found a trail though. We'll go. It's ice. Oh, you wanna climb up there? Oh, what? Yeah, let's go. Oh, that is sweet. Kind of just going through. Kyle found this little trail here. Oh, dude. Oh, that's dope. Look at that. That's sweet. You good? Yeah. We're going to slide. Oh, this is going to be a fun time getting up. That is pretty sweet. We just found it off a trail. I haven't been to these places yet in Black Hills, so this is all new to me. And Kyle's my tour guide, so. I think I'm in safe hands. You know, I don't know why we haven't thought of it, but why don't we grab a walking stick? It took till like now. Oh wow, man. Look at this. So that's a dam, that's Sylvan Lake around the corner and the water is like all the way up to there. Look at that. And you could uh, rock climb this too. Oh yeah, I bet. There's rock climbers are coming in the summer. Really? Yeah. You just wanna climb up that, climb up there? We'll be good. <laughs> I found a stick. Look at this. Big stick. Big stick. You slap, slap it, Kyle. Slap. <laughs> Dawson, that's for you. Not a lot of people are going up this way. It's good, though. And there's steps. Whew. Made it to the top. Ish, not really, but I don't want to climb that. <laughs> Kyle, what do you think? Go for it. Go for it? Yeah. That? See the way that I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> Not even a trail, it's just rocks. Where's Kyle at? Here he is. All right, let's keep climbing. All right, so we didn't really trek that far. I guess we, what, halfway? That's what we were trying to climb. But then this is this is a good view in itself. All of Sylvan Lake. Amazing. And also this, I'll show you guys. I mean, just look at that. I mean, the pictures just don't do justice for it. Like, you got more of the hills and all that stuff too back there. Like, this is sweet. Kyle, how you feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, we're down. I'm gonna go back to the car, but honestly, it was a good time. 
uh definitely recommend it guys if you guys see a trail or something like that you just kind of like but where the heck does this lead to you know freaking check it out all right guys we're back that was a pretty decent walk so we're gonna try to find some other cool stuff we can do dinosaur park is kind of cool too but yeah no sylvan lake was cool uh it's a good time um we just kind of checked out the hills a little bit of an adventure kind of for the first day didn't really do much i mean we did what we could and now we're gonna head back to uh go get some grub at the uh, press start place and and yeah so uh, pretty cool stuff here in Rapid City. Definitely recommend it. Um, uh, if you guys are ever around and checking out the area, it's kind of nice, honestly. And I've ne I haven't like actually like freely gone out and, and went about and did this. Last time I was here, you know, I, or every time I was here after I graduated high school, it was always when I had like a job to do or something like that. So it's kind of cool to kind of see some stuff and, and see it with a buddy. So anyway, we're gonna get some grub. We'll talk to you guys later. Re-upload that. All right, well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to it, the second part of the vlog. The reason why I'm doing the second part of the vlog is because the second day that we were in Rapid City, there wasn't really much that we did. After we got food, uh, really got tired and we just wanted to hang out, relax. Um, shout out to Kyle because uh, he let me stay at his place. That was pretty sweet. Thanks, man. I appreciate uh, everything. And I appreciate you taking me on a tour of Rapid City for this vlog. Uh, the other thing, too, that I wanted to talk about a little bit was something that happened to me that I did not think would happen to me so s soon in my aviation career. So uh, before I get started on that, if you don't want to hear me talking about aviation or anything like that, you can just go ahead and click away. Thank you for watching and I appreciate it. You can uh, if you can, please, before you go, like and subscribe the video. But the main reason that uh, I wanted to talk about this is because it was something that I never thought that would happen so soon in my career. So on the way back from Rapid, from Rapid City, um, on my flight to Watertown, I was looking at the weather and it seemed like there was some thunderstorms in the southern portion of South Dakota, kind of covering around that Sioux Falls area, if you guys know the area. Um, Though it was pretty far away, it was well within distance to affect the weather within the area, obviously. As a result, towns like Brookings, Watertown, even Madison. Uh, Madison was kind of in the heat of it because it was pretty close, but a lot of their airports were reporting winds gusting up to like 40 to 38 to 35. Um, and then I was in a 172 and it was a little sketchy. Um, me thinking that, oh yeah, winds are going to be a little sketchy around that area. Now Huron, weirdly enough, wasn't really affected, which is just this town kind of close by. Now my personal minimums, I know I can land an airfield with winds maybe gusting at most, and I, here's the thing, is I said at most 35 knots. Watertown was reporting at least 32 knot winds, but if I didn't feel like it, Huron was right there, I can land in Huron, and I could just say that's it i just want to stay in for the night and wait for the winds to calm down the next day or later on but the thing is i knew my personal minimums i had to make that decision and i did what i thought was the right thing to do and i thought hey 32 35 is my max i can do it i can go over there so this is kind of goes to show that that you're gonna you're gonna use those personal minimums even early on in your career. Now, going through flight school, you know, we always flew in VFR days, winds were nice. You know, there were some days when winds were maybe gusting up to like 29, but you know, usually they were right down the pipe. And in this instance too, uh, at Watertown, winds were right down the pipe, which means that it was right down the runway. So uh, it didn't really affect me as any as far as having a crosswind landing, but it was still just a little bit windy and it was still a little sketchy. So I made the landing in Watertown, it was not the prettiest landing ever, but it just goes to show that these, these things that they teach you in flight school, early on in your career, whether you're trying to get your private, getting your instrument, your commercial, whatever it is, it's gonna play into effect. So I figured I'd just stop by, talk about that a little bit, just you know about personal minimums, that make sure you guys write them down or make sure that you guys know them and follow them to the T. It helps you as a pilot make that decision of whether to do something or not do something. So make sure that you guys have those handy and you know that by heart. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch on that and just kind of at least talk about it and let you guys know. I mean, this is a learning channel. I'm learning, you guys are learning, um, and I, I wanna teach you guys as best as I can. If I can, if I have some words of wisdom that I can put out to you guys, I would be more than happy to do it. Anyway, thank you for watching the vlog. Thank you for watching the rest of us. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did being in Rapid City. Special thank you to Kyle 
And special thank you to ATY Aviation in Watertown. You guys are legitimately one of the most awesome businesses I've ever worked with. And if you guys are looking at getting your private pilot, your instrument rating, whatever it may be, these guys are legit and they, they're they very good people to work with. I would love to work with them again. I just have, no, I have nothing but good things to say about them. If you guys are in the South Dakota, like around the South Dakota area, definitely recommend stopping by. ATY Aviation. Check out their FBO. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Trust me, you guys won't be disappointed. But anyway, guys, that's all the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that bell so you guys can see more awesome aviation content coming the way. I know this weekend uh, has been a little busy, but stream's coming up soon. I'm going to do another aviation stream. We're probably going to be flying the 737. I appreciate your guys' love and support. And as always, if it's a bad day outside, go inside, go on your sim. Make it a good day and fly. I'm Justin, a pilot, and see you guys later. All right, Kyle, what do you think? Shots one target. <laughs> up on 108 tickets. This dude's got some more and counting. What the? Is that it? All you got? Oh my gosh. What can I get with this? What do you think you're gonna get with that?